So yeah, uh, we forgot to film an intro. Um, Scott Brewing ESP Special Ale. What's up everybody? It's the beer's gone bad. <laughs> For the beer flows like wine. I am Scott Van Boom. And I am Pat Tugin. And this is... Matt Ryan. Do you want me to say your name? Well, last time I got cut off, so I figured it would be better if the host introduced me. Tonight, we're <laughs> back at Ska Brewing. We're doing ESB Special Ale, which is extra special bitter. It's a good one. We've done a couple from them. Durango, Colorado. How special is this beer, Pat? It's a special one. Why don't we get into it and find out? Sounds good. Go, Pat. <laughs> You know what I like about this one? It's not, it doesn't have that macro, like really light beer kind of color. It's got more of a golden kind of color to it. I, I actually, did you like the other Scott Brewing ones that we had? I love Like Modus Operandi yeah. and we had uh, their blonde, whatever it was. Yeah, they're, they were awesome. They were the, really what was good. the blonde one called? Uh, I remember the Modus Operandi being just amazing. I like that beer a lot. Um, I read online, which I read you earlier, which I'll say again, was that the extra special bitter, bitter for anyone who doesn't know, is the term in England used for a pale ale. Yeah. And they said that this beer was the second ever canned microbrew can, uh, like beer behind Dale's Pale Ale. Quick comment, dude, on the, on the head on these beers. I mean, it's look, got a good little head on it, even in the glass it's in, and then look at it's giving the champagne of beers a run for its money, dude. Little bubbles, look at your little bubbles. Little bubs, little bubs. You could use that for. Are you, do you have carbonation water. in your glass? Yeah. yeah. I don't have any. Really? Yeah. Do you? I don't see any bubbles. Are you guys not seeing the bubbles? Look at the champagne bubbles. You got there. bubs. You got bubs. Anyway. Well, yours was the last port though, so maybe that's what it was. <laughs> mm. Actually, that, comes across kind of metallic. And there's a little honey in there. I love the way these honey cans smell. Everybody knows what honey cans smells like. No, I said there's there's honey in there. Honey. Oh, I thought you said honey. No. Oh, I totally smell that honey. That's a good call. I kind of like to see the girl on the side here. Lip up fatty, whatever that means. <laughs> Looks like some skeleton like, making out of the chick. It's like zoot suit. <clears throat> right. Zoot yeah, he's sweeping her off her feet. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, can you wear your whites when you get married? Like if you're in? Like it's, if, it is before Labor Day. So. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Mm. It's not as bitter as their other beers were. It's actually really, really smooth. The other beers that they had were really bitter. You know what's funny is like when we when we did our first pale ale, I was expecting it to come across really hoppy, and I, I don't think that the pale ales or the bitters are supposed to be that way, especially English style pale ales. I'm not even saying hoppy though. I mean, I'm just like you can still have a beer where it has a bitter taste to it without being a hoppy beer. That's a it's really, got a very really very slight beer. like bitter flavor. It's good. I actually really like this one. Do you think, with, like, you. if you were playing something, I mean, they, they really, on the, on the top of the can, they talk about, I mean, they name a lot of outdoor activities, and I think they're really promoting it on their website. Would this be something, if you were outside, would you... <laughs> they really say golf, don't they? Yeah. Would you... Golf. Would There's you toboggan on there. Scotty, would you, uh, toboggan you know, cycle. substitute this for something that you normally drink if you're playing golf, if you're going out to play, like, you know... Some outdoor activity. Yeah, I, I, I definitely, like, I definitely do this with, like, golf or a barbecue, um... I will recycle it. I mean, it's pretty good though. I, you know, for what it is, it's really mellow. It's really easy to it's drink. It's good. It really is good. It's got a nice honey flavor to it. Yeah, it's good. It's a. It's I'm a sucker nice for beer. honey beers. I think they taste really good. Honey badger don't give a. Ain't that the truth, dude? Don't mind if I do. No, it's good. I mean, you could drink this year round. It's not isolated to any sort of season or sort of you know special event. It's actually it's on their website. It's isolated to certain seasons. Yeah, just just, just summer and yeah. sunny times and fun. And smiling, right? Yeah. Well, I smile all the time. Okay. I smile you round, unlike these, this guy right we here. We don't smile in fall. Who has a handlebar mustache and refuses to shave it for whatever reason. But sometimes you gotta be a man, dude. Sometimes you gotta be. Maybe I'm just really into jean clothing. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't like to always wear denim colored clothes. He likes to actually wear denim. <laughs> Pat, what are you gonna give it? I, I like this one. I think I'm going to give it like a good seven on this. I, I, it's something that I would probably buy again if I saw it. If I was going to the beach, we're going to go hang out, play, you know, freaking bocce ball in the sand. This would be kind of fun to drink down there. All right, Matt, what about you? Um, good barbecue uh, beer. I, I, think, I think seven. I'm going to go with seven. I think it's, it's legit. I would drink this 
like I said, year round. There's not any isolating quality to it, so <clears throat> I'm into it. I like it. I liked it. I thought it was a good beer, um, but it wasn't really an amazing beer. I definitely, I'll give it a six and a half. Maybe this is six. I would buy it again, but only for a special occasion. If I was looking to have a good, like, full flavored beer, this probably wouldn't be the one I'd grab off the shelf. So for me, it's just a six. Hey, what's your six and a half, basically? <laughs> I guess my seven looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's just seven shades of blue steel, is what it is. One look. I don't think so. It's magnificent. It really allowed me to show my versatility. I thought so, it was it's a lot softer music. <laughs> <laughs> the beer's gone bad. I'm Pat. I'm Scott. Till next time. Oh, you don't even say it. <laughs> Peace. I don't even care. All right, you know what? Do it again. No, no, no. The idea. I the beer's gone bad. I'm Pat. I'm Scott. I'm Matt. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>